all about timing. For Randy, that came true when someone slid into his DMs, an old flame looking to rekindle the fire. Oh, so the first time I met Catherine, I'm gonna go on a limb and say it was at my old restaurant. Oscars. I'm going to guess it was around 15 years ago. Um, Brandy is a big personality and passion is a very attractive thing. It was very hot and uh, heavy and I kind of fell head over heels. And I was young and there was a lot of responsibilities. And I handled them a bit differently than I handle them now. She had booked this, this destination wedding and her ex was going to be there. And I, I was, I'm always very transparent. And I was like, you know, I have a problem with this and I really like the way this is going, but if you go on this trip, I just, I don't think I feel good about this. As much as I felt guilty for leaving Brandy and making that decision, I just, it was like a tug of war for me emotionally. Fast forward, I guess, 12 years. It turns out that uh, Catherine was going through a separation uh, around the same time, maybe a little bit sooner. And uh, one day she just sent me an Instagram message and asked me if I would give her a ride to her, uh, her mechanic. And so I did. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I better get on this. <laughs> I better not let this opportunity pass me by. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm ready now. <laughs> it's been a while, but yeah share a brain like we want the same things I don't know you look at me and I'm like you need a coffee and you're like I need a coffee and then you know it, it might be a small stupid thing but I've never in my life had somebody say to me like will you make me chicken liver pate I was like, <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> we're gonna have a party let's go so it's the small things like that we often say that maybe had I not made that decision all those years ago Maybe we would have had a year or a two year or a three year relationship and we wouldn't be sitting here today. And I think that that trade off was worth it. Because ultimately now we have the rest of our lives. Yeah. Social media, we say a lot about social media, but what's nice about it is you can reconnect with people from your past and it's easy to get in there and sort of, you know, rekindle that flame and you two are just so cute together. Just Thank stop you. it. <laughs> so we're gonna make we're gonna make a meal all together. Well maybe you two will make the meal, I'll just watch. Um, we're gonna make a breakfast. Yeah. It's like a sexy breakfast. Well, it's always about the Benedict, isn't it? It's about the hollandaise, it's eggs about the emulsification, the butter, the fat again. But if yes. you can make eggs Benny, yes. I mean, anyone can get a first date, let's be honest. Yeah. Maybe even a second date. But if you totally. bust out an eggs Benny on like the third or fourth date, you're, you're marriage material. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. I have to ask Catherine, while you start uh, yep. getting things together, is, is the cooking thing part of the, the draw? Like, do you love that about him? You have a, a chef at the ready all the time. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I love to eat, so it works. Good job. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, so how do we start? Okay, so I'm gonna emulsify some egg yolks. Catherine's gonna get to work on the Swiss chard because, you okay. know, you still need your vegetables. I mean, we kind of skipped sure. that with the first segment. Let's do right? it. Right, so we're gonna get some vegetables in there. So she's gonna just basically chop up some Swiss chard stem, okay. a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic. We're gonna saute that off. Nice. I've got a hollandaise here. So yes. I've got an easy, easy, surefire way to make hollandaise. It's not that complicated. I basically took three egg yolks and emulsified them to ribbon stage. You can see that's kind of just like, hey, what's up? That's lovely. Kind of Look at the color. That kind of thing. Yeah. And so once you're there, it's really, really simple. You just basically take some butter, like a lot of butter, and yeah. you caramelize it up. And basically the milk solids will, will toast in the bottom, and that's what we call nut brown. Okay. Tracy, so then what I want you to do is just take a spoon and I just, just off the top. I just thought Catherine was here. I wasn't going to have to do this anything. This is teamwork. We're okay. all in this together. And oh, then it smells oh, good. Just stir up the oh, bottom. don't do that's that. That's okay. Sorry. Off the top. No, that's good because it gives a little bit of nut flavor. In it goes. Okay. Just a little by little. And the reason why I gave you such a small spoon yes. is because we're only going to go a little bit at a time. And so we want it to be like this. Yeah. You know, I notice a lot of your recipes, especially the ones that have to do with love. Yeah. They take a lot of patience. Oh, but there's, you know, we, we hang out in the kitchen a lot. Right. Like that's our little place. You know, Catherine will usually mix up a nice Caesar. 
and not the salad type. And, um, and then I kind of get cooking and then that's where we kind of hang out. So is that the routine at home, Catherine? Is he mostly doing the cooking or he do you? He is. Do you and ever... I love to cook, but you do. Um, Randy just does it so well that I... I you get it. in there. We got a schnitzel yeah. night. You got Why the bother? schnitzels going on, right? Yeah. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of butter, a little bit of smoke. That's okay, too. Nice. And then, so we're just going to saute that off. And then in those a Swiss chard as well. Lovely. Okay, so All it's right. a good thing you brought enough butter. <laughs> Your recipes today, we're not going to run out. Not at all. You've got a really good sous chef working over there. So, have you ever done the poached eggs? I've done poached eggs before. I do and? it rarely, though. Okay. I'm not sure why. It's just something that I... Ready for I this? don't feel that confident about. Give the water a stir. I've got yeah. some vinegar in there. I actually put lemon juice in, and then just one, oh. two, See, this is where I always look something. at it and I'm like, it didn't work, but it did. I think it's going to work. It's, yeah, it's going to work. I think we got a couple minutes there, right? It is. We've got the caramelization going on with the garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper maybe, a little touch. And then yeah. we're going to hit this with a little citrus as well just to calm down the heat. Very nice. Right? So now what we need to do yeah. is season our hollandaise. So you can take a look. Are you smelling it? Are you loving it out the there? Right? Right. Look at that consistency, right? Beautiful. It's kind of beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with a little bit of salt, please, Catherine. And what that's going to do is the salt's actually going to tighten up that hollandaise. So if you're making hollandaise at home and you find it a little loose, yeah. put a little bit of salt in there. And to loosen it up, if it gets too tight, a use a little bit of citrus, right? Okay. Hit it with heavy, heavy Worcestershire. Hi, mm -hmm. how you doing? And then I go super heavy mustard as well. Nice. Palmery. There we go. And that just makes the hollandaise kind of like... Gives it some texture because it gives a little bit of like seeds in there. Gives us some bite. Okay, we have the final result. We do. I know oh. it's a little slippery. They're slippery. Uh -oh. Come on, you stay, egg. You stay, egg. Now the true thing about love is <laughs> the person still stays with you story. after you break the yolk, then they're probably, probably love you. Right?